A couple of people actually stumbled upon this in 2012. It took three years of hard work, but today at the Burke Museum, they were able to tell us that they've discovered Washington State's first dinosaur. I helped pull this thing out of the ground and I co-wrote the paper, absolutely. Brandon Peacock is one of the paleontologists with the Burke Museum who went out to the shores of the Susha Island State Park in the San Juans and found the fossil in Fossil Bay. The paleontologists believe the dinosaur was a meat-eating two-legged dinosaur, likely a tyrannosaur. I'm holding Washington State's first dinosaur. And it represents uh, the close to the body end of the thigh bone or the femur bone. It's from the left side of the animal and there's enough anatomy on it to let us be very confident in that identification. In this picture you see Brandon on the left holding a bone that's more than three feet tall. They believe that's what a full femur would look like. On the right, Christian is holding the portion of the femur they discovered. It's about 16 inches long. It took them three years to officially ID the fossil, but the paleontologists are certain this belongs to an 80 million year old dinosaur, likely a tyrannosaur, but not T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus is about 15 million years too young yeah. for this. The paleontologists say the most likely explanation is that this dinosaur lived on the west coast, then was washed into the ocean. But after a good find in the Susha Island, its femur has found a new home, right here at the Burke Museum. We're really happy to have Washington State's first dinosaur uh, being shown to the world today. Washington State now becomes the 37th state where a dinosaur fossil has been found. In Seattle, I'm Alex Rozier, King 5 News.